This is our V10 7 speed SMG hydraulic gearbox removing tool that we've made using a hydraulic platform and uh, a pivoting cradle system which once the lower bolts are out connects into pivots on that frame and can be adjusted via bolts here which thread up which moves the top which my assistant will just show us now how it can raise slightly in that motion and this will aid us taking out the V10 7 speed SMG gearboxes without damaging the box or ourselves. The stands holding the gearbox separated from the clutch and flywheel and engine and now using the hydraulic uh, platform we can now lower the gearbox fully out of the transmission tunnel. And there's our platform holding our V10 gearbox. Fully supported and gives us access to get to the clutch and flywheel on the V10. And that's what our stand looks like with the gearbox on. Uh, very nice and stable, and that's at the lowest position, so we can work on that. It's a good sort of chest height if we need to do anything on the gearbox. And then we can raise that platform about 850 mil high to aid installation. And we've got that tipped angle with a pivot system at the front and threaded connection at the rear, which uh, we can get the box horizontal or above horizontal. At the moment is in the um, installation and removal position and we've worked out the exact angle to uh, to have the engine and the gearbox to remove safely and clear the transmission tunnel because it's such a large uh, bell housing a unique design gearbox this one the seven speed smg with the pump all situated on the side valve body on the top and this particular one the um, release bearing <coughs> as well this should all be one piece this release bearing The only damage we can see, apart from the clutch and flywheel, which took a little bit of damage, the pressure plate, clutch pressure plate, had lost three rivet heads. They'd been ripped off, and they'd been going around the gearbox, and they've made some dents, but don't appear to have caused any any actual damage. Um, and some of these had hit the flywheel um, crank sensor teeth as well and made a little bit of mess. So it needs clutch flywheel, release bearing, fork, spring clip, ball pin, guide bush, um, and then full adaptation. <laughs> 